transforms. So here I have this arm, and what I want to do is mirror it over to the other side. And the problem is it's made out of several shapes, and over time, what happens is shapes take on the rotations of other shapes. So here I have a rotation that just kind of doesn't make sense. Okay, how does it come up with this rotation? Well, it's from me joining this to this to this, so three separate shapes. If I go Shift D and apply a mirror X global, you can see what happens. Ugh. So undo that. You have to undo it twice, by the way. So how do I get this shape to mirror correctly over the other side? Control C. Well, first off, again, I like showing where this is in the interface. I'm going to apply the rotation and apply the scale. Now, if you notice, everything has been zeroed out as far as rotation and scale. As far as location goes, I kind of leave location the way it is. It doesn't hurt it at all. All right, well, what happens now? If I object mirror global X, you can see it mirrors correctly. Whoops. Unless you accidentally hit the space bar or something like that. There we go. Perfect. Now they do have delta transform. So notice something. If I change this in delta transform and try to zero this out. Delta transform does not get affected. You can think of delta transform as the end result. So it is can it cannot be modified. All right, there we go. Now that we've seen how to fix the arm so it has a better rotation and a scaling point, let's move on to the next video. And pretty soon I'm just going to send you on your merry way as far as the assignment goes because this is just stitching together shapes, okay? So let's move on to the next video.